heads up. Again, please watch these in order. Um, they all follow each other in thought. And so we're promised a savior, the seed, or Messiah, to save sinners. Not just Adam, the promise was given to Adam and then Adam was told to procreate and we're all put in the same situation, which I'm gonna read Romans five. And hold on. I forgot that before. And but what do we need to be saved from again? We desperately need a savior, but to be saved from what? Death. And being an enemy to God. Because we shouldn't be enemies to God because he's our father. Even if we are dying, we still get a short life, which is more than we had before we lived. But in our comprehension in our minds, we become enemies once we become dying. And then we sin. Romans 5, 10 through 14. For if, being enemies, we were conciliated to God, or have peace now, through the death of his son, much rather being conciliated, we shall be saved in his life. Yet not only so, but we are glorying also in God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we now obtain the conciliation. Therefore, even as through one man, sin entered into the world, Adam, and through sin, death. Death was the consequence of his sin. And thus, death, not sin, passed through into all mankind when he procreated, on which all mankind, all sin, or sinned. For until law was, sin was in the world. Yet sin is not being taken into account when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigns from Adam to Moses over those who do not sin in the likeness of the transgression of Adam, who was a type of him who is about to be. Adam was the first. Jesus, who is about to be, is the last Adam. But we're not up to there. So death equals non-existence. Adam started existing. If he ate from the tree, he would stop existing. That happened. He stopped existing. Ecclesiastes 12 7. Soil returns to the ground at death, soil, uh, grounds of the earth, and it, as it was, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. The living soul vanishes or goes to Sheol in Hebrew and Hades in Greek. The unseen. I've heard people say that it's the grave. The grave is where your body goes, and there's a different word in Hebrew and Greek for that. I think the Hebrew word is also the M, uh, but it's not that important. But just to clarify, the unseen is not a literal place because you can't see it, and death is death, the non-existence. There's no thought in death, so you don't go. Uh, your soul, your living soul, doesn't go somewhere else. It goes to nowhere, unseen or non-existence. Death. Death, or slowly dying, till non-existence was passed to all men and women, begotten from men. Plus, their own sinful lives, our own sinful lives, dictate their death is deserved. Not only is it given to us and say, we live perfectly you could argue well I don't really deserve to die even though death is passed I mean it's inherited to me that I'm going to die but our own sinful lives dictate that we deserve it whether or not we're given the law or not because we're given the knowledge of good and evil our conscience to tell us when we are doing something wrong and we break it we do the wrong <clears throat> God would be just to leave mankind dead 
because they are sinful. But because he is our loving father slash creator and has subjected us to suffering, to dying, and to thus sin, he is responsible. There's a whole thing in, uh, I think, Ruth or somewhere, Judges even maybe, where if you set the trap and the animal falls in, you're the responsible one, even though the animal is the one that fell in. So, God is responsible. He is our Father. He created us with a specific nature and puts us, subjects us into certain situations. He gave us a dying nature, a dying body, which could only lead to sin. And of course, we are all one in the glory of God. We don't have God's righteousness. We are not righteous. No, not one is doing good. So, God's responsible. And immediately, that quick, same day, He promised a Savior to fix all this. So again, and thus, immediately after Adam's sin was a Savior promised by God. But who? Eve thought it was in her lifetime. But when? How? How is he going to do this? How is he going to save people? So, next video.